What is good guys and girls of YouTube? It's me, Justin Omoe, and today we are going to learn how to do something called a vocoder effect. Now, what is this? Why does it sound so cool? You know? Anyways, today I'm going to show you guys and girls how to do an effect like this, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the computer and learn how to do this effect. So you can sound cool with your shit and stuff. So there's three things you'll need. One, your 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 what you call it, your microphone. Two, a sound that will carry the vocal. And three, the actual vocoder effect. The vocoder effect comes with FL Studio, it's called Fruity Vocoder. Go figure. So with the vocoder, let me go ahead and bring that up for you guys and girls we'll have a three different um thing we'll have something called a modulator the modulator in our case will be the microphone because that is the sound we want to modulate and then we have the carrier which is going to be the sound that is going to carry the modulation it's going to wrap itself in it and of course we got the wet but yes that's the two things we'll need along with the vocoder to make this effect work. So if you notice, first and foremost, at the top, there's one that says L and there's one that says R. So that means the left side is going to be the modulator and the right side is going to be the carrier. So let's say we are using the 3X oscillator, another plugin that comes with FL Studio, and I love this plugin to death. <laughs> but yes, this is an oscillator. I'm using a square shape and the course is all the way down. The volumes for the other two oscillators are off, but let's say we're using this sound and you can't hear it right now. You can barely hear it, but that's because it is inside the uh, actual carrier. So let me go ahead and do this. Uh, oops, I forgot. One more time. So we have that sound. Um, what we are going to do, of course, I just took it off, but we are going to route it into the carrier insert. And then we are going to pan the carrier insert all the way to the right because we are going to make this the carrier so it's on the right side. If by any chance it's on the left side and you're like, oh shoot, I mix it up, you could click the L and R and it will swap the channel. But for now, we're using the left for the mod, which is the vocals, and right carrier, which is the sound. Once we have the sound into insert 5 and it is panned to the right, we have to route it into the vocoder uh, insert. So the insert where I input the vocoder, right? It's right here in insert number six. We are going to route it. So if you don't know how to route, basically go to the arrow and um, click it basically. And there, bam. Um, you'll also have to turn it off in the master. In any case, if it is here, just click the top arrow and bam, it's gone. So now that we have the carrier inside the vocoder and it is all the way at the right side, notice I'm pressing the keys but nothing's happening. That is because we have the carrier in the right side it is routed into the vocoder, meaning it won't play unless you have the modulator playing. So if you notice, I have the uh, vocals, my insert where my microphone is. If you don't know how to do that, go here, input one. If you don't have that, then I advise you to check out the video on how to connect your XLR or USB microphone, and yeah, uh, check the I button up there. So after we do what we did with the carrier, the sound, we will do our vocals. We'll go ahead and input, put it in. Once it is in, you could turn it on, and notice that you hear me. That's because I didn't pan it all the way to the left. So if I do that, boop, notice you can't hear me. Now what it is doing is that um, it has the modulator in the left side. So if I speak, you can hear me. I put it down and then we have the carrier. Inside of the other side. Now once we play both sounds together, what it's going to do is basically do a little combination effect of when this plays, you'll hear my voice and it will modulate or it will yeah it will modulate within the sound so if i sound like this i sound like a robot we could also hit different chords so one two three four yeah a c seven one two three one two three four a 
Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't see it, but I'm going to use the pitch wheel. But yeah. Now, the question, could this be done with any other sound? And the answer is yes. You could actually use different sounds. Notice how those two are playing now. That's because we have the carrier and the modulator. The modulator being the, um, what you call it, har harmless, the plug-in. And yeah, when this is being played, because we have a note being played in the oscillator, which I just deleted, it would combine and do that same modulation effect. Do we need to use the 3X oscillator? The answer is no, we can use any other sound. So just like I did with the harmless, let's go ahead and put this in number five. Harmless is in number five, and now that will be thinged. We could use a different plugin, you know, any other plugin that we want. Um, we could even use percussion, but I don't think that'll sound as nice uh, as a carrier. All right, so let's say we have a sound like this. Right? If we put this in the carrier. It doesn't really sound as effective as it could be. In some cases, we could use it as a background. So we could raise a modulator to hear ourselves a little bit. But, <clears throat> but that's not as cool. So we could always tweak the bandwidth, the scaling of the sound. We could also have the frequency range change up. Like a different feel. If I go to the filter. So we're getting a little bit more there. So yes, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video helps you guys and girls with your vocal effects and styles and yeah. My name is Justin Omori and with that being said, it's so